KSKQ 89.5 FM in Ashland, Oregon. I have a special guest here and now with me, Tori Michelle, local Ashland singer-songwriter, here to share some original music with the world. Welcome, Tori. Thank you, Jupiter. Yeah, so, uh, well, let's just get right to it. What, what's the first song we're going we're gonna to play here? Uh, the first song is Love is Like Math. Love is Like Math. Okay, yeah. let's just let it roll, and then we'll come right back. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
All right. So, Tori, what was the name of that song again? Uh, Love is Like Math. Love is Like Math. That's a cool song, beautiful vocals, good title, nice nice flow. Um, we were speaking off mic about about your, your process. You're saying th- your songs are a process of finding yourself? or Yeah, your definitely. Song? I mean, uh, we go through a lot of uh, changes in our lives and uh, meet a lot of different people and a lot of different relationships. And I think... Uh, you know, just like math is kind of like something we figure out along the way, mm-hmm. and sometimes other, you know, certain problems are harder to solve. You know that um, it, it's definitely a process of finding yourself and and a way that we grow, that I grow through things, and maybe find some answers and solutions, or maybe just figure out a way to uh, move through whatever is happening. Good, very good. So let's let's keep moving with the music and what. You have another song uh, ready to go. What What's this called? Uh, I believe the next one is Eyes on You, and this is just a fun little uh, ditty I wrote, uh, you know, just real, real sweet about uh, being out and about and meeting new people. Okay. And you, you do live here in Ashland, right? I do live here in Ashland. That's I've been in Ashland for the last uh, eight years, yeah. That's, that, that makes you local. Yeah, yeah, right. definitely. Okay, let's, let's go ahead with this track. Me and you what again Because I'm blue Hearts break down All I can do is Just fake it Nothing new, so let's get back to yeah. Ooh, yeah. I've got my eyes on you. Ooh, yeah. I don't know what to do. Ooh, yeah. I think I'm seeing too. I've had a few, but I can make it Bad news, go on and break it Feeling good, I won't waste it If for too long, I'll be changing Something wrong, we'll talk it over Let us grow through it, discover Oh, yeah I've got my eyes on you oh, Yeah I don't know what to do oh, Yeah I think I'm seeing too Got a feeling we will get it on, and I know the feeling. I can feel it. I can feel it coming on. Well, me and you, I've been saying nothing to lose, so. Why are you waiting? You've got a clue now. Just stop playing. Nothing new, so let's get naked. Oh, yeah. I've got my eyes on you. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I think I'm seeing too.
All right, my guest Tori Michelle here sharing her original local music. And what was that called again? My memory doesn't last very long. <laughs> only my memory only lasts in the exact moment. So there's. So you're All right. Well, that was called Eyes on You. Eyes on You. Okay. Yeah. That. Yeah. That was nice. It's nice. Um. What's the next song? So the next song is a pretty recent song that I wrote called Undeniable Love. Yeah. Uh, and it's about, you know, when we uh, find a depth, I guess, of love for someone that is undeniable. So pretty simple as that. Huh? Yeah, self-explanatory. Right on. Well, let's go ahead and play it. And with no further ado, here it is. All right, let's start that over. I, I started the track we just heard. I was thinking, boy, this this song sounds really similar. That's cool. Uh, let's try that again. That happens. Okay, here we go. Sweet. 
just um, I'm here with Tori and Michelle. We're just uh, off mic while well, her song's playing. Talk. Let's just continue this conversation okay. a little bit without being trying not to be too negative or down down or anything. No, no, no. This but, is real, but just, real. But it's just uh, we're just talking about. Um, uh, playing gigs and, and people not wanting to, to, to pay to hear music like I was about to say um, it's almost like an energy sometimes of well you should be you should be lucky that I'm I'm here to let you you know play something for yeah. me maybe you should pay me you know you've you've heard of the places like in LA and other uh, cities where the whole the whole phrase pay to play you know right you actually right pay you to, have to actually uh, sell your tickets and promote your own show, right. and and they give you the venue space, right? Uh, and and they still take a cut of of that, whatever you you make off of that as well. Somehow, yeah. somehow you get screwed for your entertainment and your art and and everything. I guess I was thinking, and I don't know specifically, and I might be ruminating through a, a, a dusty memory, but I I heard that there's some place in L. A. and I heard of one in Seattle where where it just was. Um, you, you just simply had to pay to to play there, and I, I forget what the other detail. I don't. I don't yeah, know. I can't cite any uh, specific factual examples, but I thought I'd just <clears throat> while we were talking, just just uh, turn up turn up the mics and just continue. Yeah, the, that was great. The, the conversation, but um, uh, you've been playing a lot at Milagros, right? Uh, yeah, actually, I played uh, a, several open mics there, which is not happening anymore, unfortunately. Really? Oh. Yeah, you know, it wasn't consistent, and uh, now with the students not around, it really hasn't been oh, okay. um, active enough, but uh, played a lot at Milagros and uh, all, all, all around the Rogue Valley, actually, Where, over the years. Well, see, because I haven't been, uh, I, I, I've been doing the show, but I haven't been playing out for a while, so I'm kind of... I don't, if places like what other places are are kind of lively in that sense? Well, where, where there's actually an open mic almost every night of the week. You know, Monday like is uh, Let's hear it. yeah, Monday is at Oberon's. Okay. Uh, Tuesday was the Milagros one. I'm I'm not sure if there's another one open, but sometimes uh-huh. there is a poetry slam on Tuesday nights. Uh-huh. Uh, so Wednesday is at um, the Gypsy in Medford. And then Thursday is Northwest Pizza uh, in Ashland. And then, well, Fridays and Saturdays, I, I guess, are mostly shows, so not a lot of places are doing open mics. Okay. And then Sunday is at the Wild Goose. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... Have you been hitting all those spots lately? Uh, yeah, occasionally. You know, I hit at least one of them once a week, uh, maybe sometimes twice a week. But, yeah. you know, I'm uh, a single mom, so I am on mom duty 24 hours a day, so uh, I don't normally get out as often as uh, I guess the normal person does. I'm not sure. How would you describe, uh, I'm asking this because I've been, uh, my heyday musically was was in the the Bay Area, and um, I've been doing the show, but but as a performer, as I mentioned, have been out, out of the limelight around here in recent times. How would you describe the the local scene around here? Um, you know what, what like is there any you know just like in terms of style and just feel and just or whatever you want to you know, you know like this, if somebody if somebody's coming from yeah. out of town what's the music scene like here? well the, i yeah. think this valley is filled with a lot of amazing musicians and uh that actually attracts a lot of other amazing musicians so we uh-huh. actually get a lot of uh touring bands and different places there's actually a really cool venue a uh, new venue in Phoenix called the Phoenix Clubhouse uh, that is actually all ages, uh, and they're really inviting the community of Phoenix to uh, become active there. And uh, there's a little coffee shop there that's really sweet. And okay. uh, uh, so, you know, I think there's a good music scene here uh, if you can get into it. I know there's, I do know there's a lot, a lot of musicians here, and the, um, a long time ago in the early '90s, I have a, I. I I lived here uh, for about four years in the early '90s, then moved moved to the Bay Area for a long time, and uh, ended up back here circumstantially a few years back, and uh, haven't uh, been in the groove of the live scene. But in the in the early '90s here, I was in a number of bands, and and uh, it was um, it was pretty robust then. Uh, I can't quite describe it, but the town feels a lot more conservative now. Uh, it just from compared to my experience here 
in the early 90s, at least. And I've heard that from, from other people, and I'm, I'm not saying that as judgment, just an observation. And yeah, no, I, I definitely, I actually grew up in this valley. I went to, I graduated oh, okay. from North Medford High School, and I kind of, you know, my family's lived here for, uh, you know, 20 years. So, I, I mean, not too long, but long enough to, you know, know kind of what you're talking about. And, I, you know, I remember uh, being able to uh, uh, do you know, a lot of different things in this town that you, you really can't do anymore, like play music on certain uh -huh. streets and um, be able to, you know, do other things in the park and, and take your dog places and, you know, oh, yeah. a, a lot of different things, you know, and I just uh, see that see that it's maybe, you know, leaning more towards, you know, a different, uh, a different market than, I guess, the local uh -huh. music market and, you know... I think the, demo the demographics uh, may have shifted too. It's still, still, of course, a beautiful place and and you know beautiful, beautiful, friendly place and all that. Um, and and I, I'd have to say that I I also was a lot younger then too. So so I was looking through, yeah. through a experiencing life through you know a diff different lens, of different, course. Yeah, yeah. So you know I was definitely living the rock star lifestyle. Yeah. Back then yeah. Too, totally. So. so uh, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Okay, so we're, boy, getting close to the end of the show. We got one more song lined up. And what is this song called that we're This song to play? is called What Hit Me. And uh, this is um, a song about not giving up hope on finding love. There you go. Let's hear it. stories are seldom told we all fall someone's always there to pick up our call I remember the sky is so blue autumn leaves turning
Well, good timing uh, as we just have a couple minutes left in in the program. Tori, Michelle, thank you for coming aboard. Thank you so sharing. much for the opportunity of coming on here. That's that's such a, a pleasure to be here. Yeah, yeah. Um, I love sharing local original music, and it, it, it livens up this radio program. And it, it makes me happy, made the world happy to hear it, made you yeah, happy. Yeah, thank all, you so win, much. Win all around. Uh, we just got a couple seconds left, and, and uh, boy, wrapping up the show, Realm of Bass coming right up, folks. So stay tuned. Uh, you're listening to KSKQ 89.5 FM.